Well, what size was the original garden we were going to have? Probably 20 feet by about 30 feet? Yeah, I think that was the original plan. I remember it was basically where the horse stable was sitting because the horses had gotten rid of all of the grass in that spot. And we thought, well, the grass is gone. This would be an easy spot to start, uh, start it the garden. was a horrible spot because of all it, the gravel. It, it was, yeah. There was a lot of gravel. We didn't realize how much gravel was out there because it was kind of covered in mud and everything like that. But I think that the original plan was to have that. And we ended up, uh, I bought like a tine harrow that would hook to the back of the rotting lawnmower that I thought I was going to just drive around and loosen up all this ground. <laughs> that didn't work at all. At all. Yeah. And uh, he really tried though. He tried yeah. putting cinder blocks on it and everything. Yeah, else we tried. Because it, he had to convince me to buy it, and it turns out it was useless. Yeah, but yeah, that was the uh, original garden idea was that small little area where the horse stable was. The next year, then, uh, then we got the tractor. Yep. And then once we had the tractor, we ended up getting some implements to go with the tractor, which opened the door to have a lot bigger area. I don't know what the square footage of our actual garden area could be when we're not doing a pond renovation. Right. But, but uh, it's a pretty sizable chunk of area. I want to say it's probably close to an acre and a half. Yes. Yeah, and I think that we probably have like another acre and a half that we would like to try. And I don't know if so much we're scaling back this year as we're basically... It's just a weird year. A lot of last minute changes. Yeah, a lot of last minute changes. Well, one of the biggest things was... Um, we had to move the greenhouse because it got destroyed. The greenhouse got destroyed and over the winter. Because of the pond restoration where we normally plant is not plantable right now yeah it's a giant mound of dirt right the, gr the original greenhouse was uh 12 feet wide by 40 feet long and we wrapped it in uh poly and um basically made the center a walkway and plants on both sides and uh and it worked fantastic it worked really well in there but the year prior to that we did everything outside we had this massive garden with plants everywhere and no idea how we were going to deal with weeds and i didn't realize how fast weeds can grow so because I think, all we had ever gardened before was like a raised bed very small right where yeah. weeds just were not an issue but so that was a huge battle the first year one of the other things that sarah and i kind of have figured out with the weeds actually took all the grass clippings and we uh we ran it down the rows of corn and basically just you know an inch inch thick or whatever right around the corn all the way down and that pretty much eliminated all of the weed problem that we had the previous years me spending hours and hours out there trying to figure out how to get rid of weeds. Kind of Sarah's big big stickler thing was no pesticides as organic as we possibly can make it first year we had uh so much of it um, that we put a bunch of it on uh, this vegetable stand that I had made out kind of by the road and, and a bunch of people would just stop and and uh, get things. And I remember one, one guy stopped and actually complained about the zucchinis being too large. But then we had people come back because they wanted ginormous zucchinis. As far as the garden for this year, so we made a couple of pretty big changes. We built a new garden planter box area um, on the one side of the barn um, that's gonna be permanent and hopefully down the road we'll get more of a permanent greenhouse in that area. And then when we had looked at the cost of rewrapping the greenhouses, the cost of plastic has gone up exponentially that we actually at the beginning of the year said we weren't going to even have a greenhouse just it was i think i looked into it and it was over 300 dollars in plastic so we tore them down or tore the greenhouse down put everything kind of off in storage on the side of the property with not really any plans to do much with it in the future and um i was thinking one day that i'd check the cost of plastic again and and something dawned on me that if I took the two greenhouses apart 
instead of having it run one direction a super long length if I had it where they were smaller greenhouses then I could take the plastic and actually wrap it the opposite direction over the greenhouse which, which made it more cost effective yeah which cut the cost in a third um, we ended up uh, putting in two brand new greenhouses this year uh, we're doing some stuff in them that we really haven't done before it, yeah we got a lot of peppers going out there um, we have a lot of green beans going out there we, we eat a lot of green beans though and uh, and, and, beets. and beets I think we have like a dozen tomato plants in the raised bed planter box garden but I think we're doing another eight of them that are going to be hanging style hanging from five gallon buckets uh, six of the eight of those are actually being propagated from the plants that we already started growing earlier in the year so that's kind of cool. I've never done that before. That's kind of the fun thing about gardening though, is every year you do something a little bit different. Sometimes right. it works out great and sometimes it's a bust, but you know, but you, you know, learn and by the time we die, we'll be experts. So I was going to talk about how it looked and stuff like that and then set you up to talk about how terrible it turned out. Oh. I was going to just drive around and loosen up all this ground <laughs> instead of, uh, Instead of using a, uh, oh. 